Dan, good to see you. Hey, Mike. Great to be here. Uh, set us up for PayPal. I mean, the stock has kind of uh, been in the wilderness for a little while, it seems. There's some concern about fee compression or the take rate, but trying to maybe bottom out there in terms of the fundamentals. So what can we expect this afternoon? Yeah, I think the key thing, I mean, the key thing that got this, that killed the stock in the first quarter, it was down like 20 percent, is that take rate compression. They've got two ecosystems, right, the branded checkout and the unbranded, which is Braintree. And people didn't believe that the reason the take rate is compressing is because unbranded is growing five times faster. I actually did the work, and I think that's what's happening. What we expect here in the second quarter is basically them to beat what they guided to. They should do at least double-digit organic growth in the branded side. And if we see that take rate compression abate a little bit, I think the stock's going to rip. Is that not a concern, even if it is kind of them losing market share to themselves in a lower margin way on an ongoing basis? Yeah, I mean, they're they might be not losing market share to themselves, but I think what's happening is they have to basically the growth be, differential. Correct. They yeah. have to be in that space because, you know, if they're not in that space, they're going to lose share to Audi and they're going to lose share to, um, you know, Stripe. They mm -hmm. have to be in that unbranded space. And by the way, it helps them actually get access to more merchants. So it's a, an offensive and a defensive move at the same time. Um, do want to hit uh, Robin Hood. What have been the trends there? We have seen a little bit of a revival of things like options, trading volumes and, and the rest of it. So what's the what's the setup? Yeah. You know, I'm a crypto bear. But yeah. surprisingly, you know, we talked about it a lot. But I, and surprisingly, they're actually gaining share from Coinbase. Mm -hmm. We've proved it in uh, April and May in crypto. So they're gaining share in a space that I don't like very much. That being said, they're killing it. They're crushing it on options. Contract volumes or contract prices are actually coming down because of the VIX is coming down. Volatility is coming mm -hmm. down. The most important thing on Robinhood, and that's going to make or break the stock, is the um, margin growth because they're saving a lot of money and also retirement. Mm -hmm. This is a big initiative. If they do well on retirement, if they give you a few data points on retirement, this is going to make the stock work really, really well. Yeah, I guess the, uh, the, the bid there is to broaden the franchise out, obviously, but beyond transaction pricing. Just quickly, I did want to hit on SoFi, which has been a story for, for several days right now. Uh, big rebound on the, uh, their numbers. And, and how does the stock set up now valuation work? I think it's actually, you know, you haven't even seen the start of what's going to happen here. I think it's actually very, very cheap. Like, this could be like the next, like, J.P. Morgan of Bank of America in the future. Branchless bank, getting a ton of deposits. The big opportunity here, and this is the work that we've done today, we see three, four, 350 to $400 billion of student refinancing, TAM. None of this is in consensus right now. Stock's trading down today, mm -hmm. but, you know, in three months we'd be sitting here and people would say, oh, Dan, you told us that three months ago that this is a big opportunity because as the moratorium ends, a, there's a massive pent-up demand for student loan refinancing. So I actually think it's very, very cheap. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best banks out there.